Even Stephen and Odd Todd are here to help you learn about patterns. In your class, brainstorm what a pattern is. That's right, a pattern is a sequence that repeats according to a particular rule. If patterns are all around us, can you guess the pattern that is shown on a traffic light? Exactly right guys, the pattern on a traffic light goes up, first is green to go, second is yellow to slow down, and last is red to stop. The pattern then continually repeats, green, yellow, red, green, yellow, red. Even Stephen and Odd Todd live in the same street. Can you have a look at the houses and find any pattern that is going down? You guessed it! Did you know? All the houses on every street go down in a pattern of two. Take a look at the levels on each building shown. Can your class discover the pattern here? The pattern here goes down by two levels and then up by two levels and then down by two levels and then again up by two levels. Even Stephen and Odd Todd are stuck in a rut. They need help counting their jelly beans, but counting them individually will take too long. As a class, can you help even Stephen and Odd Todd count up by twos to figure out how many jelly beans they have all together? They have 30 jelly beans. Good work, guys. Now, turn to the person next to you and see if you can use any other multiplication pattern to help count the jelly beans. Bye! Oh, yeah, thanks for helping us learn about patterns. We see numbers. 877 plus 1 is 878. 878 plus 1 is 879. In each step, the numbers go up by 1. 879 plus 1 is 880. 881 plus 1 is 882. The missing numbers are 880 and 882. What are the missing numbers? 590 minus 10 is 580. 580 minus 10 is 570. In each step, the numbers go down by 10. 610 minus 10 is 600. 570 minus 10 is 560. Missing numbers are 600 and 560. What are the missing numbers? 433 plus 100 is 533. 533 plus 100 is 633. In each step, 
the numbers go up by 100. This number plus 100 equals 433. The missing number is 100 less than 433. 100 less than 433 is 333. 633 plus 100 equals 733. The missing numbers are 333 and 733. What are the missing numbers? 541 minus 3 is 538. 538 minus 3 is 535. In each step, the numbers go down by 3. 532 minus 3 is 529. Five hundred and twenty nine minus three is five hundred and twenty six. The missing numbers are five hundred and twenty nine and five hundred and twenty six.
In this lesson, we do some work on number patterns. Example one, complete the pattern, then write the rule. So we've got three numbers already there with two missing numbers, and we need to write the rule after we complete the pattern. So let's see how we go. Starting with 12, we're jumping up to 16. Now to do that, we add four. Then from 16, to jump up to 20, we also add four. So to complete the pattern, let's keep on adding four. So 20, if we add four, we get 24. From 24, if we add four, we get 28. So we've completed the pattern, now we need to write the rule. And quite simply, we were adding four, so let's write as the rule, add four. Terrific. The next one, complete the pattern, then write the rule again. So here we go, 84, 74, 64. Hmm, these numbers are going down. So once we work out what we've got to do, we're going to write the rule as well. So from 84 to go down to 74, we subtract 10. From 74, going down to 64, again we subtract 10. So let's keep on subtracting 10. So 64 to get to the next number, we subtract 10. 64 minus 10 is 54. From 54, we're going to subtract 10, so we get 44. We need now to write the rule, which was to subtract 10. Fantastic. Example 2. Use the rule to continue the pattern in each. So this time we've got a rule, and we've got a first number we're starting with. So we're starting with 12. The rule is to add 5. So 12 plus 5 is 17. From 17, we add 5, we get 22. We're at 22 now, we need to add 5, and we get 27. The next one, we need to subtract 9. So starting with 55, let's take away 9, we get 46. From 46, when we subtract 9, 37. 37 now, we need to subtract 9, we get down to 28. Terrific. Let's multiply by 2 for this one. So we're starting with 2, and multiply by 2, in other words, double it. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Let's learn about number pattern. What kind of a strange code is this? It seems to be a number pattern. Remember, a pattern is something that repeats over and over again. Blue, red, blue, red, blue, red. Cat, cat, dog, cat, cat, dog. Similarly, in a number pattern, the numbers change in the same way each time. For example, here is a number pattern. Look at the sequence of numbers. Can you guess the next number? Start at 1, add 2 each time. 1 plus 2 equal to 3. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Keep adding 2 each time. Next number will be 11 plus 2 is equal to 13. Once you understand the pattern, you can easily write the next digit to complete the pattern. Let's see another example. 
What do you do to 4 to get to 7? We will add 3 to 4 to get to 7. Now, what do you do to 7 to get to 10? We will add 3 to 7 to get to 10. So, the rule is to add 3. Keep adding 3 to the numbers to find the missing number. So, the missing number will be 13 plus 3 equal to 16. Now let's come back to the code. Can Balu rescue girl? What is the pattern rule for this number pattern? What do you do to 7 to get to 16? You need to add 9 to 7 to get to 16. Check again. 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. Yes, this is a pattern rule. Add 9 to 52. You will get 61. Code is accepted. Oh yes, Bobby has rescued code. The alien will be back with more patterns. Let's be prepared for next time too. Did you know that a number pattern can be described by a rule? The rule can be addition, subtraction, multiplication or division.